Alrighty guys, hey, I, this video I'm going to go ahead and do a little different. I want there to be a list of things that you know you can do right off the bat whenever you get on Insane UO. So what I'm going to do is show you where you're going to get started. And then of course show you a few of the basic commands to get where you need to be. And then I'm going to also show you where you can go to get some additional gear, some help leveling up, some help getting your initial pet. Um, or any kind of starter gear if you're going to be, let's say, a paladin, a sampire, an archer, um, anything like that. So, first thing we're going to do is I want to show you guys where my house is. You guys are always welcome here. I've got some additional gear that I've been trying to trying to scrounge up. I've only been on a couple of days, so I may not have the most, but obviously you're welcome to anything that I have over here. This is going to be right next to Luna. So if you're at Luna, you'll just take it a little bit southeast and there is my home. Um, you do start off with a deed in your backpack for a small home. It'll be one of these right here. So I know it's not very large, but it's a great way to start off with some place to put your stuff, especially um, if you're not wanting to just be one of those bank guys that carries everything in the bank and that kind of stuff. So. So this is going to be the actual community rune library. This is going to have everything here from your dungeons to your champ spawns to all of your quests. Here you're going to have different kinds of uh, things like, like cities and what, what, what you would have in the cities themselves. Over here you've got the, you know, just type in where you want to go crystals. You've got the moonstone crystal here. You've got the serpent's jawbone here. You've got a couple different circuit traps here to train up on your remove trap um, as well as the dye tubs including the white leather dye tubs which i think all you know, i think they look really really cool um, a lot more obviously runic books here let's see so there are going to be some things that are going to uh, be seasonal so you'll have to keep in mind for that as well Back here, you've got a couple of more rune books. These are just community buildings and player ran shops. But this is going to be the actual community rune library. You can actually access this by simply typing in CRL and it'll port you right here. Really, really nice feature to have. Um, it's basically just a free recall uh, for people to get over to the community rune library. If you don't have Majory or Chivalry, go ahead and make sure that you use the Newbie Stone to buy up some recall scrolls. You can add those into the books. However, as you'll see here, this is going to be the first dungeons. You would need to put charges into this. But yesterday, there was quite a few charges. Yeah, 144 charges into the actual Champ Spawn book here. So that helps out even if you don't have um, the stuff that you need to go ahead and, and, and pick that up. So... When we come back, we'll show you guys the rune library. Alrighty, now we're going to show you guys how to get to the actual rune library. I know it's a little confusing. Got a community rune library and then a rune library. They're very close together, actually. But we'll type in again, RL, and it'll pop you over to this one. Now, this is where you're going to actually find the new player supplies vendor. This is going to have your full spell books, your full necro books, Bushido. Now you get these whenever you put in that spell or that that skill as your initial skill, but uh, they won't be full. So these will be full of the spells for you. Really convenient to have. It's extremely easy to get this much gold just by going to one of the simple, you know, shame or one of the one of the beginner dungeons. But uh, one of the other things that's really important here is right here, recall scrolls. You can use these even if you don't have um, majory or chivalry to get around by putting them into the actual rune books. In the rune library or else so you've got your runic atlas right here for thirty thousand. that's what i've got for a couple of different things and of course your mark scrolls to put them down on the recall runes bag of sending is another great one a hundred thousand it seems steep but these come with a hundred charges so realistically it's only charging you a thousand gold for every time you put uh you know you're sending you know 25 30k into the bank huge huge profit here and it keeps you from having to go back and forth um, to the bank to drop off gold. Powder of Fortification, 250,000, but 100 charges, huge, huge. And of course, Book of Masteries. Typically, these are a little more expensive on the vendor than I've seen selling on the vendor search. But I mean, obviously the convenience is here if you just wanted to grab it while you were here. 
Over here, you've got the insane vendor. These are going to come with the insanity tokens. Um, I've already gotten, I think, 200 in the bank and like 500 something in my box at the house. And I haven't really been playing that long. So these are going to be random power scrolls. Cloak of Insanity is about 10,000. And this thing is pretty awesome. Let me show you guys. Hit point five, stamina five, mana five, faster cast recovery two, faster casting one, and lower mana cost five percent on a back piece is crazy good. Valiant Commendation, you've got Shroud of Insanity, we'll look at that one as well. Damage Eater 10%, mana increase 10, swing speed, and spell damage increase. So this one's a great one too for spell damage increase, and of course you've got your mana increase there too. Damage Eater is nothing to be thrown around either. Talisman of Insanity. This one's going to have Casting Focus 3%, Damage Eater 5%, Mana Regen 2, Lower Mana 10, and Spell Damage Increase 10%. So with this and the Robe, you've already got an additional 15% Spell Damage just off of those. And of course, you've got plenty more to go with. Now, there's another cool vendor over here, which is going to just be... Let me see. I think it, maybe it was this one. No, this one's going to be the... Uh, Okay, so I got the jewelry box here. Got a couple other things here. This Harvester's Axe actually turns wood directly into boards. Really cool. Rune book straps, 150,000. Now, one thing you'll notice, I don't know if you guys have played on other servers, but this is all gold. Gold and insanity points that you get, or insanity coins that you get from doing activities like champ spawns, killing core of the sorceress, other things like that. So the, none of this stuff you're looking at, you know, the owner sitting there saying, if you want this, you either play a enormously inflated price of it for gold, or you give me money. Give me money, and I'll give you these basic things that cost me nothing because I stole it from another server anyways. Not cool. Here, it looks like 150000 for a rune book strap. 250,000 for a spell book strap. So 400k for both of those things together. Whereas on other servers, you're looking at having to spend 10, 15 dollars to get it if you wanted to put it into, you know, some form of in-game currency, which is just crazy. So um, one thing to keep in mind on the champ spawns here, you don't walk away with 15k gold. You walk away with about 200,000 or more. So whenever you're looking at something like 250k for a spell book strap, that's literally one champ spawn if you solo it. And the champ spawns are much, much easier to solo on here than the other ones because it, the, the characters haven't been doled down in order to need the additional help. So um, you're able to uh, run the champ spawns by yourself, obviously. And I don't know that you'd be able to do it if you just went like pure bard or something like that. But um, as long as you've got some form of, of damage, maybe a pet or uh, you're one of the melee classes, then at that point you, you're going to be just fine. So you've got harpsichords, cutomatic sawmills, all the different storage boxes. Just a lot of cool stuff right here that is going to come along with... Um, being able to pay pure gold for it but like i said you're going to get a plethora of over here you've got your okay so this is going to be the um transmog vendor so as you can see two million gold transmog lanterns demon belts and by the way you're not just getting gold at these champ spawns you're still going to get the same amount of of your um power scrolls so you can sell those set up a vendor whatever you need to do you're, you're going to make more gold than just that so all of this stuff is extremely reasonably priced for what it is and you'll get to make your character look exactly how you want to make him look. You've got the ethereal mounts over here. These are very cool. Um, you've got different kinds of them. You've got the war mounts. You've got the lashers, windrunner, all that. You know, just the basic ethereals. And then over here, you've got your spellbinder deed. You've got um, these right here have kind of been replaced, actually, with the insanity uh, or insane scroll archive. These right, right here is basically all three of these combined. Um, these are 150k for all three. This is about 1.25 mil. So um, these could be something you get initially and then maybe move up to this once you get the gold for it. But obviously that's up to you if you just wanted to save or do whatever. But uh, and then in here, when you roll up on top, this is going to be where you have your repair bench. This is free to use to everybody. If you want to repair all, then it does cost gold, but it repairs all of your stuff at once up to 50 durability a time. Um, one more cool thing is it doesn't take your durability whenever you use it. So very, very nice um, part there. And you don't have to worry about your stuff whittling away over time. So if you don't have a recall rune to it yet, I'm going to show you guys um, one of the places you're going to need to visit if you just start out on the server. 
Um, and the reason is this is called the Temp House and they are extremely helpful and they're going to get you started. Um, Hoser or Dork are going to be the ones that are running it. And let's see, it's up here somewhere. I'll, I'll have a recall ring to it, so. Um, but it is one of these up here. Here we go. Oh, look, they're actually here. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, but as you come in here, this is going to be where they set you up. Man, he set me up amazingly with a uh, ice steed. He got me going with that and he built me an actual suit. Now, granted, I'm a guy character and this is definitely not um, guy clothes, but I got a robe for that. But built me up a suit with casting um, speed, casting focus, recovery, all that good stuff. And of course, set me up here to do the uh, lock picking, the remove trap, and just in general have, has been extremely helpful. So if you do get a chance to swing by Tim House, just know to ask for um, Hoser, or you can ask for me and I can get you in touch with them and we can get you set up and get you going um, with, with, with some initial gear. So this has just been a few things. Obviously, we want you guys to set up. We want you guys to come over and have a great time. Um, we'll run champ spawns with you, or at least I know I will. I'm having a great time running the champ spawns. There's a lot of different events that go as well that you build up uh, points with to be able to buy extremely good gear later on with that I'm really excited about doing. So if you guys have any questions um, and you want to join the server, um, let me know in the Discord or leave me a comment on here on the YouTube and we can do that. And feel free to please subscribe. Like I said, I'm almost to my goal for the year. So thank you guys and you have a wonderful day.